Well, people all over North Georgia offered up their prayers, their love, and their money to a woman who told everyone she had ovarian cancer. Well, now she is under arrest. Well, Forsyth County Sheriff's detectives charged 29-year-old Mary Bennett with theft and forgery. Now, the shocker, they say she never had cancer. Uh, but it's what Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis discovered that is certain to make people even more upset. Randy? Yeah, Rustin Sine, Mary Bennett's posts, her social media posts go on and on about her bucket list. Fun things she wanted to do before her supposed terminal illness ended her life. Detectives say she spent years collecting at least $25,000 in cash and free stuff until someone started asking questions. Anything else to say to the people on the ground or anywhere else before we go? Mary Bennett, coming resident, licensed practical nurse, and supposed stage four ovarian cancer victim, spending another day living like she was dying. What do you predict this community is going to think when they find out the truth? I think a lot of people are going to be shocked. Mary Bennett had quite the bucket list. In fact, we're going to need a bigger bucket. According to her post, ovarian cancer landed her a free trip to New Orleans, a free hot air balloon ride, a free weekend at Treasure Bay in Biloxi, a free fishing trip in the Gulf, a free ride on the sky view over Centennial Park, a free hunting trip with celebrity hunter Haley Heath, free Braves tickets, including a signed card from Freddie Freeman, Jason Hayward, Andrelton Simmons, and manager Freddie Gonzalez, saying Mary was, quote, in our thoughts and prayers. Is there any evidence Mary Bennett has ever had cancer? Not based on anything I've learned in my investigation. But on this Facebook page maintained by a friend, Mary Bennett posted that she was undergoing chemo and had her head shaved since her hair was going to fall out anyway. Mary walked as a cancer survivor, wore a mask because she claimed her immune system was compromised, but the whole time continued to work on that bucket list. A ride along with the Lumpkin County Sheriff's Department during a motorcycle fundraiser. A free tour and cookbook for Mary Max Tea Room. And a huge spaghetti dinner thrown by local restaurant owner Kurt McConnell that raised $4,000. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Department says that she's a fake. Then that breaks my heart. It does. Did Mary Bennett seem sick to you when you met her? No. Did any red flags go up? No. I didn't even think about it. Neither did her friends or family members who talked to the Fox 5 I team. They did say that Mary Bennett never wanted them to come with her on any of her medical appointments. So they'd stay at home or sit in the car waiting, like when she came here to Northside Hospital, supposedly for a gamma knife procedure, because she claimed she had three tumors on my brain and one tumor on my brain stem. She emerged from Northside with two band-aids on her forehead. When they came off a few days later, investigators say there were no scars. Well, how did she explain that? Um, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. Last May, Mary Bennett even flew to Houston with her parents because she said she had an appointment with the famous cancer hospital, MD Anderson. This is a picture on Facebook of Mary along the Texas coast. But Detective Jeffrey Rose says he checked with every hospital Mary claims to have visited. Everybody came back. We don't know this person. We have not treated this person. This person is not a patient. So MD Anderson says they've never seen her before. Correct. Emory says they've never seen her before. Correct. None of these places say that they've ever treated her for cancer. Correct. I'm going to give you some a little bit colorful. Mary got the money for that Houston trip from Kirk McConnell's spaghetti dinner. He says he even gave her a few hundred dollars himself. This is what she was doing in Houston instead. I can't believe it. I don't know how she lives with herself. I don't, I don't know how she could live with herself. By that time, the bucket list has started making some people suspicious, especially when Mary made another miraculous recovery. Then late last year, I received an unmarked envelope in the mail containing all those pictures and social media postings, suggesting Mary Bennett was faking it all along. Turns out the Forsyth County Sheriff's Department was sent the same material. Mary Bennett is now charged with theft and forgery, accused of faking medical records to make it look as if she were a cancer patient. Hey, Mary. Before Mary was arrested, 
no one answered the door when we stopped by her house. After her arrest, a no trespassing sign now greets visitors at the road. Mary Bennett's lawyer had no comment. The bucket list has reached the end. This is a medical professional, someone that needs to be held, in my opinion, to a higher standard. Openly deceiving the general public at large, just openly taking these monies and going out on elaborate trips and all the while just sitting there looking and nodding your head and saying, yes, I've got, I've got cancer. I was it. She is out on bond now. Investigators still aren't sure how many victims are out there. They want to hear from anyone who gave money, wrongly believing they were helping a cancer victim with her medical bills or her bucket list. And Rustin Snay, I brought this out. It's a T-shirt the community made. It says, Miracle for Mary. And this is how concerned that community was. They had auctions, they had, they sold candles, they had yard sales to raise money for what they thought were her medical bills. This story has stunned that community. Yeah, it's very sad because you want to trust people, obviously. Now, mm -hmm. is there any indication that her family or her friends knew what she was doing? I asked the detective that. He said there's no indication that the friends or her family were in on this at mm -hmm. all. In fact, I sat down and talked to her mom off camera for a while. and. Her mom, this is before she was arrested, and her mom said, I'm convinced that she has cancer. Yeah. I said, well, how do you know? She goes, a mother knows. Hmm. But then she admitted that she never went with her daughter on any of those medical visits, uh, visiting the oncologist, supposedly, the gamma knife treatment. Mm -hmm. She never went along because she said her daughter just didn't want her there. Wow, and Randy, it's so sad that so many people are going to think twice before they give to someone who might actually need the assistance. That is the tragic part in all this today, you're right. All right. Yeah. Thank I'm you like so Kirk, much. I never would have thought of it. All right, yeah. Randy, thanks very okay. much. A gruesome